Well, mention the word superhero, and most people will think of fictional characters from comic books, like Superman or Black Panther. But kids at St. Luke's Parish in Southington learned there's a different kind of superhero, a real kind. They're called saints. Let's take a look. Once a month, middle schoolers get together at St. Dominic Church in Southington for an evening of faith and fun. Tonight, what we're going to do with this theme is saints and superheroes. We try to go along with the liturgical calendar, so November for saints. So we like to tie in the saints and the superheroes um, with the, the notion that the saints are people that we can look up to. They teach us how to live life the way that Christ wants us to live. So it always works to tie those two in together. The evening begins in the new youth ministry room, a newly renovated space in St. Dominic Church. It was a labor of love. It was a hard project from the heart that we desperately wanted to have a space just for our youth. So uh, over the summer, we, uh, Father uh, Joe Cronin, our pastor, allowed us to raise some funds to put this room together. Well, we were looking at the color. We tried to find something that was calming and relaxing. And then once we settled on the color, and we thought about, well, let's get a fish tank. That'd be kind of cool. Then the theme set in for us. Basically, what we want for our youth is for them to walk further and closer to Jesus Christ. Sometimes it may be uncomfortable to try something new. Sometimes they may not be feel that they're ready to go deeper in their walk with Christ. But that's what this is about, walking on the water with Jesus. They're not walking alone. He's walking with them. And that's where the theme came from. There are also some superheroes for fun. So the way tonight will work is we'll begin down here. We always begin down in the youth room, um, getting to know each other, things like that, introductions, and then we'll head upstairs. We have uh, like five or six games set up that are all superhero based, trivia, uh, uh, races, stuff like that. The games are fun and they're tougher than you think they definitely brought out the competitive side of the kids. But the competition was not over. The final task involved learning about the superheroes of the Catholic Church, the saints. And we're gonna do what we call our Saints comic book challenge. So um, I create a little cheat sheet for the kids and what they'll do is they'll create what they imagine the saint cover page for a comic book would look like and then we'll close the night with a litany of the saints. Michael hopes the night's activities help the kids learn important lessons about the Catholic saints and themselves. They are called to be saints, uh, that we are all individually given gifts and talents from God, and that all the saints had flaws and all the saints had gifts, but that God calls each one of us, and what's most important is that we say yes to him. I've, I've heard so often since I started parents tell me, oh, my kid was confirmed, they're all done. It's like, no, 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 we want them to make sure that they feel comfortable here, that they stay here. And it doesn't just end here in the youth room, but that it's only the starting place and that they feel comfortable branching out into different areas of church life at Mass, in different groups, in the Knights of Columbus, ladies' guilds, that they, this is just a starting point and that they feel comfortable in their walk with Christ and in the church to branch out and know that they are welcome here. Superheroes inspire us and serve as role models for their positive traits. But while they lead exciting lives of adventure and victory, the true path to holiness is found in quiet lives of sacrifice and prayer, in service to God, the church, and each other. Saints truly are far better role models for us than fictitious superheroes can ever be.